What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Last night we had the Game Awards and of course with that came a bunch of new announcements and a bunch of new trailers. But here on this channel we love RPGs and especially JRPGs. So what I've done here is I've compiled a list of five amazing announcements that stuck out to me and they all look really great. If you want the best JRPG announcements from last night without having to watch three and a half hours of the Game Awards, then you're in the right place. I got you. So let's jump right into it. The first game I have to talk about is absolutely 100% metaphor Refantasio. Look, I don't know if it's Refantasio or Refantasio, but that's all besides the point. This game looks unbelievable. And with the developers they have on this project and from what I've seen of it so far, I expect nothing short of greatness. We've got the team that brought us Persona 3, 4, and 5, as well as some of the best Shin Megami Tensei games. So I think metaphor is in really, really good hands. For those that were turned off by Persona and its large life sim like sequences, this game seems to go in a very different direction so I think you'll be excited to dive in for sure. Atlas revealed the story for this game and it sounds super intriguing. The story revolves around the death of a king and what happens in the mess that's left behind. In this world that takes the form of a tournament, the winner will be named as the new ruler of the kingdom. This game truly looks like nothing I've ever seen before, and from the brief glimpses of gameplay in the trailer, I'm seeing action-based combat and turn-based combat, so I'm interested to see how this is implemented. I love the character designs and the animations and the combat sequences and the enemy designs. It all looks to be coming together really, really nicely. So, so excited for Metaphor. Really hoping to learn more about it soon. It is coming out next year in 2024, along with some other games on this list. We'll be eating nicely next year for sure. Next up, I've got Visions of Mana. When this trailer started playing, I had a feeling like I knew this was a mana game. Was it going to be a new one though? Yeah, it is. And it looks stunning. This is the first new mainline entry in the series in over 15 years. I honestly never saw this coming and was really surprised by this announcement. Visions of Mana is one of the games that was shown last night that while watching the show, I just kept thinking back to it like, I couldn't believe this was revealed at the Game Awards. Like Square Enix gave us a few details on the website about it, so I'll read it here. Embark on a new adventure with Val, the newly appointed Soul Guard, as he sets off on a journey across the world to accompany his friend on her pilgrimage to the Tree of Mana. Experience action-packed gameplay and explore a vibrant, semi-open 3D field, encountering fearsome foes and unlikely allies along the way. This sounds like a mana game for sure. I really can't wait for this one. Again, another amazing game that's coming out in 2024. Now, not really an announcement, but a new trailer drop for Persona 3 Reload, and we're all Persona fans here so i don't think anybody's gonna be mad about talking about the new persona 3 reload trailer of course we already knew the game was coming but the new trailer has me even more excited to play this game persona 3 has always been one of my favorite jrpgs and i do personally feel like it is one of the big three that feels the most outdated in my opinion persona 3 introduced a really diverse cast of characters that i really resonated with each had their own struggles, motivations, and ultimately saw real personal growth by the end of the story. The relationships you build with these characters, coupled with their development over the course of the game, really made Persona 3 an amazing experience. And seeing these in an all new coat of paint and experiencing that story again for the first time in forever, it feels like, is really exciting for me. So definitely looking forward to Persona 3 Reload, and that one's coming really soon here in February. The next one on this list is one of the more interesting games shown at the Game Awards. Now, this wasn't necessarily an announcement trailer, but it was the first that I'd really seen of it. Ark Knight's Enfield. Uh, this one really caught my eye. The combat and art style immediately stood out to me. I'm somewhat familiar with the Ark Knight games and their like kind of gotcha mechanics. And personally, I don't get into a lot of those games, but this one particularly has my interest. I do plan on giving it a go and seeing what it has to offer. It looks like it's doing some really interesting things, so hopefully it turns out to be a lot of fun. If you all know more about these games or if you think it has some potential, let me know in the comments below because this one's piqued my interest and I'd be excited to discuss it in more detail. Next up, we've got the first Berserker, Kazan. This is easily one of the most interesting games that was shown at the Game Awards, and right away the art style stood out to me. There's been a lot of games out there that have tried to strike that balance between realistic and stylized anime aesthetic, but most of the time it just doesn't work that well. They have nailed it with this one. It looks stunning. I love the art style here, and that's not all that caught my interest with this one. This definitely looks like a Souls-like. I love those type of games, and the combat looks fluid and responsive. This one looks like a ton of fun, so keep an eye out on the channel for more content on this one as we learn more. We don't know a lot about it yet, but from the trailer, it looks like it's going to be one that is a must play. A couple of quick nods before we step away to a few games that were announced. The new Dragon Ball fighting game, 
Sparking Zero, there's new Guilty Gear content, and a shadow drop of the new Final Fantasy 16 DLC. All really interesting of announcements, all great surprises. I don't play a ton of fighting games, so I don't have a ton to say on those, but they look really incredible, and I know a few friends of mine that were really hyped by the Dragon Ball reveal, so that's another great showing in my opinion. Overall, I really liked the Game Awards. I think they turned out better than they did in a lot of years past. I do want to say more time should be spent on the developers and handing out the awards and letting them speak. I mean, some of my favorite parts of this show were the developers coming up on stage and pouring their heart out over how much this award meant to them. I didn't like seeing them rushed off the stage, and then I felt really disappointed seeing categories like Best RPG and Best Action Game being these side note one-off announcements that were giving all of 10 seconds of recognition. Take out one or two things in the show, and make time for these hardworking individuals that spent years of their lives making the things that we love and care about. Hopefully this is addressed next year, but anyway, that's my list of announcements for the JRPG fans out there like myself. If you had any announcements in particular that you liked, let me know in the comments below, and until next time, I'm out.